Bill Withers. We're also joined by Paul Fellows, the Liberal Democrat leader of Waverley Borough Council. He was listening to all of that. Morning to you, Paul. Is your local authority in a position to offer support to incoming families? Uh, good morning. And uh, I think no local authority is absolutely in a position to offer it, but I think that doesn't, that's not going to stop us doing so. And certainly Waverley is going to commit uh, to housing a number of families. But I think actually uh, your previous speaker highlighted a, a number of the issues that local government are going to face um, in making those commitments and carrying them out. Um, and actually what it does also show is that when it comes to local government, the, the, the divisions of politics are a little bit more limited. And I, I do actually agree with most of the comments of the previous speaker. And a lot of the concerns we've got now are, are how this policy is going to be delivered by the government. Uh, I, I don't think I'm the only one here thinking that this Afghanistan crisis is in 50 years going to be sort of equivalent to how we look at the Suez crisis now in geopolitical terms. And really, the UK absolutely has a role and must step up. What, what's wrong with, what, what, what do you see as the flaws within the Afghan resettlement scheme? Well, um, in the original resettlement scheme, uh, ARAP, um, for translators, it's fairly straightforward. But really, all of these things come down in the end to, to funding and proper integration. And we understand that the new model for, uh, for, for general Afghanistani refugees is going to be similar to the Syrian model that's been deployed over the last year or so. Um, and this effectively allows local authorities to be supported for 12 months. And most of us on the ground know that that support really isn't sufficient even for that 12 months. And then it gets cut off and local authorities then have to bear that strain um, going forward. So while it's something that we're not going to we're not going to shirk our duties and responsibilities here, um, we do need the government to step up and provide that funding. Now, the Guildford MP, Angela Richardson, who is not available this morning, uh, has written to asking what support you can offer. And I gather this has generated a, a bit of a, a disagreement. What do you think needs to be done there moving forward? Because for outsiders looking at both local and central government, they might say rather than bicker about what's gone on before, we need to, we need to, to move forward beyond this, given the time factor. I, well, I absolutely agree. And uh, one of the things I certainly would have recommended to, to the MP for Guildford is that she pick up the phone to her council leaders in, in Guildford and in Waverley and ask these questions. Um, she left, I think, two hours before resorting to Facebook with those letters. And I think it caused more political ire than it should have done. What I will be replying to, um, to, to Angela Richardson, MP, um, is that Waverley will need support from the government and it will need to be more material than the schemes that we've seen previously. Um, what we've seen so far is announcements and sound bites from the government. But for those of us who have to actually deal with these things on the ground, government by sound bite is just insufficient. And we do need those details in order to make decisions. Certainly after hearing the comments this morning, I'm going to be engaging with the leader of Rushmore because actually engaging with some of the vacant MOD properties is an extremely good idea. And if there's anything we can help to support that too, I'm going to do so. Do you, do you see there being a limit to the number of people the country can take? I mean, there's obviously many people in dire need of our support. And this, at the same time, as many migrants are coming across the channel and still attempting to make that crossing. Uh, but is there a, a limit to the number we can take ultimately? Well, I mean, there'll be many people who say the country's full. And I say I don't agree with that statement or that sentiment. Um, local authorities haven't got the land to build the social housing that we, we desperately need to meet all of our housing registers. I think pretty much every authority in England has got a housing register, several thousand more than it's got homes for. But this is where we drift back into the debate about uh, developers building out houses that they've got permissions for. Um, there's no way for us to make them build any faster if they're land banking or don't want to do it. Um, and I, I mean, I don't really want to take this debate into a, a, to a debate about the um, inadequacies of government planning policy, but these do touch on that when it comes to proper housing provision across the country. All right, Paul, have a good day. Thank you for your time today. We're very grateful. Paul Fellows, the Liberal Democrat leader of Waverley Borough Council. And before that, we were chatting to Bill Withers, who is a Conservative councillor representing Aldershot South on Hampshire County Council. And Bill's also a retired lieutenant colonel in the British Army. Just to reiterate, we also invited Angela Richardson, the Guildford MP, onto the programme today, but she wasn't available. We'll get the very latest on the roads in a moment or two.